Yo, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a theme on Drupal 7. So, uh, what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to download that theme from Drupal.org. If you go to Drupal.org, uh, one of the categories here is themes. Actually, let's browse to Drupal's homepage. You can get there by clicking themes here, or you can search for themes. The first ones listed here are the most popular ones. So a lot of people use Zen because it's a great starter theme and it's really great to build off of. Same with Fusion. Adaptive theme is a really nice adaptive, responsive web theme that uses HTML5 to adjust to uh, whatever your browser size is, whether it's a phone, tablet, or computer. Uh, for this tutorial, however, I'm going to be using Omega because it is one that I have grown very accustomed to as of lately and I really enjoy some of the features. So on my personal site, I'm going to be wanting to use Omega. So Omega is also a responsive theme. It's based off of the 960 grid uh, framework. You can uh, really easily change how many columns you have and uh, spanning regions over columns is very easy. Omega itself has a ton of features uh, and settings that you can tweak that uh, really make it uh, stand out as being a really great platform to develop on. So this is sort of, you know, Omega is a pretty big thing, so it has its own handbook, it has its own uh, microsite. If we open this in a new tab, you can see there's lots here. Uh, for now, we're just going to browse. So down here in downloads, there are uh, the recommended releases, you can see this is 7.x. That means it's for Drupal 7. You're not going to want to download anything that ever says 6.x for Drupal 7 because it will not work. It is for Drupal 6 only. So you also don't necessarily want to download the development release unless say there is a bug in the current release that's fixed in the development release. But basically, these recommended releases are recommended for a reason. So we're going to click the zip to download it. As you can see, it has downloaded to my downloads folder. I'm going to open that up. OK, so I have browsed to my website folder. And these are the, these are the files that are in your folder. So everything that you're going to want to edit is going to be in sites. If you're changing your CSS, it's going to be in sites. If you're installing modules, it's going to be in sites. So we go here and then sites all. And then inside sites all, there's modules or themes. So this seems like a good time to drop Omega into themes. So uh, Omega has some different things in it. And in the next lesson, we're going to get go over how to create your own sub theme of Omega, because you're not going to want to edit Omega itself. You're going to want to create your own sub theme and edit that. Uh, that's just sort of how the way you do things in Drupal. That way, if they release an update to Omega and you go to update it, it's not going to break your whole site. It's just going to update Omega and it's not going to touch your files. Okay, so now that we have Omega into the site's themes folder, we're going to go back to our Drupal site. And now we're going to want to go to appearance. If we go down here, you'll now see that Omega and Alpha show up. So if we enable Omega, it now shows up as being one of our themes. If we set it to default, it's going to override Bartik, and Bartik will no longer be our default. Since we're not using Bartik anymore, let's go ahead and disable it. So also you'll see here that uh, this has installed another theme called Alpha. And what Alpha is, is it's really just a framework to do sub-themes for Omega on. And you're going to be basing your sub-themes off of Alpha or Omega. And you're not actually using Omega or Alpha by itself ever. So we're just going to leave this as being disabled. And now that you can see Omega is enabled, we can just click out of this. And now you can see this is Omega. And since we're in development mode, um, it's going to turn on the grid and it's going to turn on these regions. So, if, well, they're actually the, the block, the region block areas. But so let's turn those off and turn the, the grid off. And this is 
Omega as a theme. As you can see, it has this resize me arrow that shows you if you're resizing your browser, it's going to adjust for different browser sizes. We'll, we'll take care of all of that in CSS. I'm not going to go over media queries or anything in this Drupal tutorial. Um, I would suggest looking into that or uh, Level Up Tops will do CSS tutorials and in those we'll go over media queries. But for now, just know that Drupal allows for, or Omega has built in media query support. And with Omega, you don't really even have to get into the CSS to set a lot of that up. It's mostly going to be for tweaking things to get it to look the way you want with the media queries. So that's it for Omega. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to install a sub-theme for Omega. And in that sub-theme, uh, that's where I'm going to edit my CSS and get my site looking like how I want it to. And then we can change settings and everything like that. So. This is how you install a theme in Drupal, but to install it, you just basically drop your folder into the themes folder and then go to appearance and enable it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or hit us up on Twitter at leveluptuts. If you want to let us know that we're doing a good job, that we're doing a terrible job or whatever, you know, just let us know. And uh, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts and thanks for watching. Bye.